Good evening, full tubians. Welcome back to the Gaming Cupboard. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend, and if you're a collector, I hope you've had a fantastic weekend of the car boot sales picking up bits. Before we get on to this weekend's car boot, we better address the elephant in the room, or rather the ghost in the room, sitting back there. I've added a little bit of ambient lighting into the cupboard, more because it's like the black hole of Calcutta in here, but we got a nice little Pac-Man ghost who's happily changing color in the background there, but unfortunately you can't see because my camera is just focusing on me because it's a good camera, aren't you, camera? Um, but yeah, we got a little Pac-Man ghost there, an LED one. It was at a car boot sale, which I picked up for a pound. Absolutely thrilled to have him in here. He does add a bit of like ambient lighting into the room. So yeah, really chuffed to have him. But we will move on to the car boot pickups because let's face it, that's what we're all here for. So... <laughs> Your boy's knocked out the park again. Um, if you're a fan of budget games that you get for next to nothing, if you're someone who likes original Xbox games, then this this one's for you. Don't do it anywhere because we have this hulking great bag full of games to go through. So unless I want this video to be about three hours long, we're just going to get straight into it. Um, there are a couple of DVDs in here before I actually move on to the games and get them out of the damn bag. Um, and we'll do this in order because these are the first things I saw that car boot sell. So there's everybody there normally selling DVDs for 50p each. And occasionally I come across somebody who I think you look like the kind of person who has unusual DVDs who I'd like to pick up from. And this person was just that. Um, he certainly had had these donated. Um, don't know who donated them, but thanks very much because I'll pick them up for that price. So for 50p each, I've got three DVDs. You'll probably see the first one there. It is Clerk's 10th Anniversary 3 Disc Edition Collection. Amazing Kevin Smith film. If you haven't seen this film, where have you been? Watch it. It is... Oh, it's, it's brilliant. I, I really like it. It really put him on the map. Great film. Um, another DVD that I looked at and looked at and I couldn't figure out what it said because it's in a really bizarre font, but I've eventually figured it out. I think it's because I'm thick, probably. But can you see that? It took me a little while. It actually says apple seed. Yeah, I know. Sealed. No idea what this is, but that artwork is beautiful. And for 50p in a sealed DVD, I picked up. It's a bit unusual for me to find something like that. So if that's rare, if it's a sought after DVD or something like that, let me know um, in the comments. I've never seen it before. It's from the creator of Ghost in the Shell. So I'll pick that up. And then lastly, the one that really excited me and I was hoping, hoping, hoping he would have some more of these because I saw this and I was like, oh, I picked this up. Um, Unfortunately not, sadly this is the only one, but it's a collection I, um, or it's a series of DVDs I collect for, and it's unusual for me to find them at car boot sale, it's even more unusual for me to find one that I want, and the one that I don't have at the car boot sale, but we have Studio Ghibli's Tales from Earthsea, double disc edition, really really nice condition, I was, like, I was hoping he was going to have some more, but he doesn't, so yeah, I thought that was a really good decent start to the day. Next up... My car boot sales, they're so hit and miss at the moment. I will find, like I found the box NES the other week. Some days I'll find it absolutely nothing. Games, PlayStation 1 games normally trying to sell at a premium. And PlayStation 2s are the same or really hard to come by. All the kind of filler titles that I either have or not really for me. Um, but... If I do find a box of games and it says 50p each, then I'm going to jump in that bad boy and I'm going to find the best games out of the whole lot, which is exactly what I did to this this family selling games. I asked them how much it was and they wanted 50p each for these games, so I picked up six of them. And we'll start off with the odd one out of this collection. So that's what I got. you can probably see what they are from some of that. We've got Operation Flashpoint. Dragon Rising. I didn't realise I got a 360 game in this lot, but I obviously did pick it up. Complete with the manual. Burnout Revenge. The original Xbox. 
with the manual and the free trial card awesome must be getting up to a year's worth of free Xbox with them if only they weren't 16 years out of date or whatever it said on the last one I checked out Colin McRae Rally 2005 2005 was so long ago amazing little Brucey bonuses Ooh. don't know what this is take the shortcut to the whole two wheel drive cars ok and a little book of games coming out which I always have a flip through oh this is cool I didn't notice this but um, I see other people who are collecting for the full Xbox collection have these so all the football games it looks really cool in that but I don't see half of these in fact I've never seen some of these about the Ajax game I have no idea how rare that is Borussia Dortmund yeah really really cool back when Chelsea had their original like um, emblem as well in there just changed in all that time. Really, really nice little pickup. We have Far Cry Instincts. Come back. Complete with the manual. Ooh. Oh, and there's a receipt, the original receipt in from when I got it. 4th of October 2005. Another free trial. I have to add all these up that I've got for that soon because I've picked up so many of the things. Oh, and a competition. Competition to win a prize. Win exclusive Far Cry Instincts merchandise. What is the name of the main character of Far Cry Instincts? Not a clue. What is the name of the group of islands in Far Cry Instincts? I can't even pronounce this. Ponderin Archipelago. The Jacutan Archipelago. The Flannel Archipelago. You know, I'm just surprised I can say archipelago at the moment. Archipelago at this time of night. Surprised I can even say blah, 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 blah. anything. Max Payne. Now this is a game that I had on the PlayStation 2. I lent it to a friend. Yep, yeah, it's got a manual as well. And I never got it back. Which is really, really, really annoying. <laughs> because I haven't played it in forever. 2001. I've not played it in like 18 years. I nearly bought that NCX the other day for 75 people. The case was absolutely ratty. And then the last one to pick up a bunch probably from this lady was the original Fable. I've got the Lost Chapters, which the case looks rubbish. But this one, nice, beautiful case. So yeah, all them, three pounds. Three of your English pounds. Amazing. And then next up, I was walking around and I saw a lady who had some a box of um, DVDs on the floor. There's a couple of games in there, one of the quid each. I saw original Xbox, one I didn't have, and because it was a decent price, I thought I'd pick it up. So I picked up Better Alive 3. This one's got manual in. Oh, some lovely little bits and bobs. Strategy guides. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Uh, an Xbox advert fold out. I think I had one of these the other week. Still really cool. Yeah, the manual and disc all inside. Really nice order. And then the pick, the pick of the day came up next. I was walking along. I need to get some kind of camera to try and record some of this footage because it's really hard to describe what it is and and the emotion you get when you kind of see this stuff but I'll, I will do my best I love a bit of a story so I was walking along and saw one of these plastic crates from a guy who was like, potentially a house clear and something like that um, and there was this little old couple looking in it and it, this plastic crate had in it um, a cardboard box and it had in little glasses little cherry glasses and they were just looking at the glasses like oh look at these glasses and um, as I got up to it they all just kind of left and I was like okay cool and then something caught my eye and it was the fact that the box so this box with a cardboard box around it was surrounded by these I was like oh crap there's some games there so I said to the guy, how much are these games in here? After I started pulling some out, he's like, what does it say on that sign? 
And um, I don't know if he was just checking because he didn't remember or taking for the fact that he could have a big flashing pink neon sign and I would still ask him what the price is. I think I get the blinkers on when I see these games and I'd look past every kind of sign, every kind of thing that says how much they are. I'd just go for the game. So I looked at it and it said four for a pound. I was like, oh my God. So I just jumped in there and just grabbed loads. He wandered off. I was I was having it. I was looking through his, and he was like, "Oh yeah, all well, my sons, um, they're all they're all good condition. He just doesn't have them anymore. Doesn't play them anymore." And I was looking through. He's like, "Yeah, all this are good." And I was like, "I'm I'm gonna check. I've been I had before. This is too." unusual to find I, I don't know if I fully believed that I was going to have actual games in there for, for that price but they all did and I grabbed a handful so I'll put this up here oh, believe me this is a heavy thing we'll, we'll pull them out in bundles and I'll go through it actually I'll start this so first up we have Tony Hawk's American Wasteland one for the bear he's a massive Tony Hawk's fan you have to ask him about it sometime <laughs> complete with manual in there he's really not um if you haven't already watched this if you haven't caught up with it um a load of tubers in the community did a video response about the games that all games franchise they hate that was that was one of his and um oh, it's brilliant watch have a look at it everyone starts off really calm really like i don't like this game and then they're like i hate this game he's going to bin whoever made it should be shot <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Have a have a watch. Have a watch. I'm not going to spoil it too much. I'm not going to tell you once in there. Some controversial stuff. Anyway, I digress. First one, Tony Hawks. Next up, Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow. With the manual. Some little bonuses in here I can see. Oh. Win £250 of Ubisoft games. I'll have... Um, £250 worth of Starlink Battle to Atlas, please. Or Battle for Atlas. <laughs> Maybe not. It's really sad that that didn't sell very well. But, oh well. Here's what it is. They got enough money. Um, an advert for BT Broadband. We've got Sam Fisher plastered all over it because that'll sell. And an advert for New Xbox Games magazine. I love finding these little nuggets of history I'm looking through. It's amazing to find little adverse things. and I don't see them very often in games, but it's when they do. Um, Rainbow Six Lockdown. With the manual in there. Although the manual seems like it's been through the washing machine. Got the state of that. Never mind, not complaining. Next up, Mark Echoes getting up content under pressure. A bit of a random name for a game. I don't even know what it's about. It's an Atari game. Graffiti skills, battle enemies using makeshift weapons, defi death defying acrobatics. I'm still none the wiser. That's in there. Uh, free Atari competition draw. No clue. Yep. Rogue Ops. I haven't played half of these games, I can't comment. With manual. Maybe slightly out of shot. Call of Duty, finest hour. Still so many of these to go. With the manual in there. Nice chunky manual on this one. Nice chunky manual. You don't get chunky manuals anymore. Unusual game to see, even at a car boot sale at this kind of price. But we've got... Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. So I've got to wait at this one already that it sadly doesn't have the manual. But I don't see Mortal Kombat games about the car boot sales really anymore. Bit of a shame. Uh, next up, Breakdown. Looks like a fighting game to me. Is it Train Die? What does it say? Unlock new punching and kicking combos. What a guy just getting mashed in the face. Amazing. That looks brilliant. <laughs> Die Hard Vendetta. 
with the manual. Prince of Persia, warrior within. With manual. Ooh. Win the games console of your choice from Ubisoft. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rifling through these. I've still got so many to go. So many to go. So many. And then this kind of annoyed me because I literally just paid a pound for it. But Dead or Alive 3, again, with the manual. I don't know which one was which, actually. This might have been the one I got from for the pound, and it might have been the other one I got for 25p. That'd be annoying if it is because this one doesn't have all the little posters and everything in. But yeah. Burnout 3 takedown. It's in a black case. I don't know why it's in a black case. Maybe somebody swapped it over. Oh. Two month trial used. Doom 3, which I picked up the other weekend for three quid. Happy to have it again. Mortal Kombat Deception. With the manual inside. Driver 3. Now, can anyone tell me, is this the driver that everyone went off on one because it didn't have we didn't have the full game they released I think one of these games they released before it had the full game inside so everyone lost their shit over it kind of rightly so I think um, what we got left six six left Jesus uh, full spectrum warrior no idea on this one doesn't look an amazingly interesting game but for that price I wasn't going to leave it behind Another similar game, Conflict Desert Storm 2. Some Egypt has drawn on the manual and the cover and the disc. Anyone has any tried and tested ways to clear ink off the manuals of the disc, let me know. I'm sure you'll give me some sensible answers where the internet will be like fire, bleach, you know, pour beer on it. It's probably kind of the answer to get if I Google it. But yeah, if you've got any actual sensible answers, let me know. Uh, true crime, New York City. This one doesn't have the manual, I don't think. So. Nope. Exceptionally light. Three to go. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. With the manual inside as well. Nice. I think I picked that up the other week when I got a massive bundle. Um, never seen this one before. Didn't even know it existed. Let me know if this is an unusual one or just a rare one or just one that you don't find very often because I don't think it's particularly rare. But it's um, Hunter the Reckoning. And you can see in there, I can see that very well. I made my interplay. Well, I think responsible to doing work on the original Fallout games. Yeah, I've got Fallout 2, and that's an interplay game. So yeah, that might be quite interesting. But yeah, Hunter the Reckoning, with the manual. Some idiot scribbled on a disc. Yeah, let me know if there's any way to get that off without ruining the whole bloody disc and manual, tell me. And then the last one, the pick of the bunch, the one that I was so excited to get, if you've watched my channel by now, you know this is a series I like. It is Morrowind on the original Xbox. Wonderful game. Probably the game I played most when it first came out. With manual inside as well, but I've already checked and sadly it doesn't have the map. But that is that is the end, the end of the bag. But to kind of put it in context, jeez. This is all going to go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. But I'm going to do it anyway. I got all that for a fiver. 21 games for 
five pounds. Oh, 21 games for five quid. I could not believe my luck with that. That has to be one of my best finds of the year just for quantity in there. I mean, Morrowind's a 12 quid game on its own, but that's amazing. I never had myself down as an original Xbox game collector, but if they're going to be selling games that cheap, why not? Why not pick them up? That is amazing. So yeah, that, that is it for the Saturday car boot, and what a Saturday car boot it was. Now the Sunday car boot, there was really absolutely nothing about. Um, and actually, remember I said in the last video about the um, reseller who try, I thought tried to jump in on my deal for the NES? Well, I actually made friends with him. <laughs> He actually kind of um, sought me out. He's like came over and said, "Like I mean to see you because you collect games. What do you collect?" And um, I was thinking, I don't really know. Um, well, I don't know what have you got. There's, um, he advertises um, locally for for games and consoles, and will buy them off people and kind of sell them on and um, through other game groups as well. So um, yeah, he was telling me about all the games he was selling. I had a chat with him about consoles. Now I walked around with him for a bit. So. Yeah, it was, that was pretty unusual. Um, it's, um, so yeah, credit to him. Maybe it is a case of, um, you know, a collector is just a friend you haven't met. But um, it's funny how life kind of turns out. If you've got similar interests, you can kind of find people and kind of chat to them about games. So, yeah, that was a, a kind of interesting start to the day, chatting and walking around with a collector. So I've made a friend at the car boot sale, so I have to go around on my own. But who am I kidding? I'm a bit of a lone wolf anyway when I go around my own on the car boots. Just kind of run around and just grab stuff. But the more the merrier. You meet people, you chat to people. It's amazing who you find. But there really wasn't anything about. He got bored and um, said, I'm going to go. And there still wasn't much about. But I was just about to go. And um, I saw a guy unloading the stall. I saw some. So I'll pick up. I'll show you. So I saw this sitting on the desk, desk table. So I said, how much do you want for it? It's got a power cable as well, I just dropped it on the floor. And he said, 20 quid. Now, 20 quid for an Xbox One S is ridiculously cheap. And I was thinking, you know, what what's wrong with it? There's got to be something. And um, I could see when I bought it, I looked out at the back. And I could see that the warranty stick is removed. This has obviously been lifted up. And you can see the front bits where it's been prized. So I was thinking, do I have a punt on it? Because it's kind of high risk, high reward. If it's working, it didn't come with any controllers, mine. It didn't come with any controllers. It didn't have an HDMI lead. So it kind of made me think more. Is it going to work? Is it not? But I thought, do you know what, there's, there's nothing else about. I'll take a punt for 20 quid. So I paid my 20 quid, I left. I brought it home, plugged it in, I tested it. And sure enough, there's no HDMI signal out of it. But there is a silver lining to the story because I thought, well, I'm not going to be able to fix this. So I put it on eBay and I made 35 quid on it. So a little bit gutted. I think I knew in my heart of hearts that it wasn't going to work. I think deep down I was thinking nobody's going to sell that. And I mean they had some other stuff, they had some games which they wanted crazy prices for. So I was thinking it's probably not going to work but it's, it's worth having a punt. But you know, every cloud managed to make a bit of money flipping that quick from eBay for their um, spares and repairs. So yeah. That is my weekend's worth of pickups, guys. I hope you had a fabulous weekend's worth of pickups, and I'm really interested to see what everybody's got. And um, I'll hopefully try and catch up with my videos and get more out. It's been a bit difficult trying to film, edit, get out with everything else going on in my life at the moment, but I'm finally starting to get back to, to doing things. Um, but thank you for coming along. If you watch the end, thanks very much i hope you've enjoyed this massive bundle of games as much as i have when i found it it was absolutely thrilling to have that and yeah thanks for coming and watching 
if you haven't already and um, if you enjoy my content please if you can drop a like um, drop a subscribe and if you ring the bell it will notify you when I put out more videos and that's it guys thanks very much for coming and I'll see you next time take care bye bye